Well, to discuss that a bit further, we're now joined by Mr. Randy Short, who is with Dignity Human Rights and Peace Organization, who is joining us now live from Washington. Mr. Short, thanks a lot for joining us. Now, you know, uh, many people are calling this one of the largest explosions and attacks uh, throughout this civil unrest in Syria itself, uh, brought in from outside, of course, by these foreign-backed militants. Um, you know, what are your thoughts as we hear about the, you know, the, the casualties of this specific explosion? It's an understatement of a large explosion. This is an act of mass terrorism against the people of Syria by these foreign-backed uh, terrorists. And you don't hear the outcry. If they could have made this or pinned this to the Assad government, there would be all this condemnation from the NATO countries and other proxies of the United States and the Gulf Cooperation Council. So it's a sheer hypocrisy. When school children are murdered by bombs brought in by foreign insurgents, that there's a silence that shows that the people don't care about human rights. They don't want a peaceful transition. And it almost seems to be a, a willingness to unleash the hands of these killers to victimize the people because they're no longer able to defeat the Syrian uh, government's resistance to their uh, imperialistic game. Mr. Short, you know, just just a, a few weeks ago, basically, there was much promise. Uh, it looked like the future of Syria was promising, considering Moaz al-Khatib himself had said he was willing to speak to, to certain members of the Syrian government. What happened? Well, there's schisms. You've got the al-Qaeda faction. The, the, the Syrian so-called resistance, uh, these armed forces, they're not unified. The only thing that they want is to drive the Assad government and the Ba'athists from power and, and to send the country into uh, genocidal and fratricidal wars in which you'll have something akin to what exists in Libya. So, I mean, they're not unified, but what brings them together is Western money, Western arms, and the covert promise that they'll be helped to be uh, killers, thieves and uh, foils of uh, the Zionists in Israel, who are the only country that really stands to benefit from the destruction of Syria. And, and ultimately, this is a attack still on Iran. The triumph of those forces trying to support the existing government in Iran, this is a, a spoiler act. This is how losers respond when they can no longer get their way as to kill the people the same way they've been destroying the infrastructure and food production, to leave the government with nothing if they can't beat them on the battlefield, to destroy the country. Well, they have to get money from the IMF to reconstruct, which in many ways will hurt the government in this post-conflict period that I hope God hastens for the people of Syria who suffered for too long. All right, we'll have to leave it for now. That was Mr. Randy Short with Dignity Human Rights and Peace Organization speaking to us live from Washington. As always, we appreciate your insight.